What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As always, thank you for tuning in. Today, I got an exciting one for you. I want to give you my top three books on money and wealth. Now, I got to say this was really a tough one because there's so many great books. As you can see behind me, I love to read books. I have a ton of other books in the other room. I have a lot of books on audio and I love to just read books, discover new books. And when it comes to money and wealth, there's a ton of classics. There's newer books. There's classic story books. And it was really tough to choose. And I just want to say there's a lot more that I could cover and I probably will in the future. But these three are the three classics, the three must reads and what I think every single person who wants to earn money, who wants to earn financial independence or financial freedom and wants to build wealth in their future for themselves, for their family, generational wealth, needs to read and know of these three books. And I think some of the concepts in here are really life changing. So you can't afford not to actually know these concepts, no pun intended, but you cannot afford to miss out on this information. As usual, before I get into it, make sure to smash that like button. This one's going to be really valuable as always, I hope. And also comment your thoughts below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this with somebody who would want to read these books and build their own wealth. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with number three and go from the bottom of the list to the top of the list. And the reason I do that is if you've heard me say this before, I want to tax the impatience. I want to tax the people who aren't patient enough to sit through a short video that could provide life changing value. So if you don't want to sit here long enough to listen to the rest, you're going to get taxed and you're not going to hear it. Now, of course, you can always fast forward, but I'm hoping you want to see what all three are. So I want to start from number three and number three is the intelligent investor by Benjamin Graham. Now, if you know anything about investing, if you're into investing, into day trading, swing trading, even crypto, if you know anything about the investing world, you know that this is essentially the Bible of the investing world. This is one of the most classic books written by Benjamin Graham. And the fact that this is number three almost hurts and it was a really tough call to make, but I had to and you're going to see why. But if you're going to build your wealth, if you're going to reach financial independence or financial freedom, you're going to have to invest. You're not going to build your wealth off your income. Nobody does. No millionaire does. No billionaire does. They earn income even at the highest levels. But what they do is they actually invest their income to then be able to multiply it. So the intelligent investor is particularly interesting because Benjamin Graham was Warren Buffett's mentor. And if you know anything about Warren Buffett, worth just under, I think, 100 billion now, he might, he might have already crossed 100 billion after the last crash that we had. If somebody's Warren Buffett's mentor, and taught him the ways of how to invest and how to achieve that level of wealth. I want to know what they have to say. And this is one of the classic books. Now, I will say this. It's a bit of a hard read. It's a big book and it's older language. So it might be hard for you to read. So I would say to be patient with it. Give it some time. Read through it. If you get bored, go on to another book. Come back to it. But make sure you get to the end of it and you're going to get a ton of value from it. And he differentiates between the passive investor and the enterprising investor. So whichever one you want to be, whether passively, just put your money aside and let it work for you over time. And you don't want to commit time and energy to learning how to invest. Or if you want to be the enterprising investor and quote unquote, beat the market, then you can also learn how to do that from here. Number two on my list is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So if you know anything about Think and Grow Rich or Napoleon Hill, you know that this is one of the classics, the all time classics that a lot of people love to read. And let me just emphasize this. This is not the secret. This is not sit and just think and you're going to get rich. I don't believe in any of that, nor do I think you should. So it's not for that reason. I think there's a ton of real valuable content in here. Some amazing principles that you can apply to all areas of your life and also especially to your wealth and to your financial future. And for that reason, I think it's one of the classics and I think it's worth reading. And I can't tell you how many times when I was younger, especially, but even nowadays I've gone back and revisited it. How many times I've actually read this book. So it's one of the classics and I would highly recommend reading that as well. And number one on my list, drum roll please, is The Richest Man in Babylon. And this is one of my personal favorites. It's called The Richest Man in Babylon. And it's essentially in story form and it highlights a ton. I mean, a lot of great principles that you need to know when it comes to money, when it comes to saving money, when it comes to multiplying money, and when it comes to just building wealth for the long term. And it's such a capturing book that 
I've read this, I think, three or four times already and, you know, throughout the years, I mean, with big gaps in between. And I'm going to go back and revisit it again. Matter of fact, after this video, I'm going to put all three of these books on my table and I'm going to revisit different chapters of them all again because that's a practice that I love to do and you just always absorb more and learn more. And I'll leave you with one last note on that before I end the video. But The Richest Man in Babylon is one of the most classic all-time books written on money. And a lot of other books that came afterwards, which I won't name, are all essentially copies of this book. They all highlight the exact same principles using the exact same numbers and percentages. And, you know, it's really just a copy of this book. So I would highly recommend this to everybody. The number one book you need to read around money and finances and wealth is The Richest Man in Babylon. Now, that being said, I told you I would highlight something very important before I end this video, and that's this. When you go back and read books again, when you go back and revisit an article, a book, an audiobook that you've read before, you're going to get so much more value and knowledge out of that that it's just insane. It's mind blowing. And the reason is the text hasn't changed. The book hasn't changed. Nothing there has changed. What's changed is you. You've changed. You've matured. You've evolved. You're at a different point in your life. You're more receptive and open to certain things. You might be more closed off to certain things. So because you've grown, you've matured, because you change on a day-to-day -day basis, and in today's world with how rapid and fast-paced things are, the media, the news, events happening, our memories are, you know, like squirrels. We move on so quick and things change so fast that if you go back and revisit the same book you read last week, I promise you, I guarantee you, you're going to pick up one or two new things that you didn't even know were in that book. So go back and revisit some of these classics if, you, if you've read them already and if you're familiar with them. And chances are, I would almost bet that most of you haven't read all three. If you've read one or two, go read the other one and then go revisit the ones you haven't read. So there you have it. Again, The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, who also, by the way, has a ton of other classics. And The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clayson. So again, if you're focused on building your financial independence or your financial freedom and your wealth for yourself, your family and the future generations to come, go ahead and check those three books out. I promise you'll get a ton of value out of it. And then come back and comment on this video what the main takeaways were. I'd love to hear that and go back and forth with you and just give value to everybody else as well. So feel free to share all that. And as always, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And all that said, I'll see you in the next video.